Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. My name is Jacqueline. We're doing a pick a card reading. You can choose from pile one, the amethyst, or the second pile, the shivalingam. And please take a moment to choose which one from your intuition. Um, what I wanted to say, please like, share and subscribe my uh, videos and uh, subscribe it helps my channel to grow so if you are interested in keeping an update on new videos I will be posting for the record I will be posting Dutch videos because that's my native language and uh, English videos uh, English spoken videos and with each upload I'll do an English one version and a Dutch version. So, if you have chosen from your intuition the Amethyst first card and or the Shivalinga first pile, in those piles I have car taken cards because some of them are regarding your transformation process, regarding your twin flame process, uh, what needs to be healed uh, before you come into union and how is how are things going with your twin flame and in your connection okay so if you choose pile one we'll start with that take this aside okay so let's see what we have here selling boundaries it's dutch i don't have two um, english versions but setting boundaries Choosing yourself and letting go. So perhaps you are now in a state of setting boundaries with people, but also setting boundaries with yourself regarding your um, ego-based thinking or whatever. It's The second one is confrontation, fear of commitment, blockages, self-destruction. And self-destruction could mean that you are thinking over your head, way out of thinking, um, too much thinking and you need stability you need st change stability power and gro grounding with your first chakra so please bear in mind that is very necessary very um, important to set boundaries to yourself to let go of things you can't control um, to con perhaps you're being confronted with self-destruction or blockages subconscious blockages that are coming to the surface now and you need to choose whether you are working on it or not it's your choice of course but if you are willing to do that and if you're willing to resolve them ask angel archangel michael for help or metatron they can help you with that it has to do with a conflict in yourself Conflict in yourself with boundary. Okay, it's it's about boundaries um, for yourself. You're not seeing things straight. Perhaps you're holding yourself back from the, from the life you would like to have. You are in conflict with your um, divine feminine, divine masculine energy in yourself. Could be in conflict with your twin flame, but I also have a feeling... That it is a conflict in within your energy within the energies uh, conflict with the energies within you that you need to trust what is given what signs you are given from spirit that you need to trust your intuition and please check and feel on an energetic level on a soul level if there is anything that needs to be healed before you can start your twin flame uh, reunion you need to see and feel those emotions okay so we're going to the twin flame journey there is some help some help from spirit perhaps your twin flame is going through the same and everything has to do with a commitment issue Commitment, fear of commitment, fear of abandonment. It, perhaps you have a fear of 
abandonment and the other person has a fear of commitment. It works both ways. So check on it and see for yourself what it is that you need to heal in yourself. Because if you heal, your twin heals also. Perhaps not the same time, but they will in, uh, yeah, if the time continues. Divine order, practice patience. I hate the word patience, but anyway. We all people, we want to do it faster, faster, faster. <laughs> but it's necessary to experience and practice patience because you have to clear your blocks, energy blocks, clear energy blocks, activating the higher chakras, and enter your vortex, aligning with infinite abundance. And if you are aligning with your vortex regarding your twin flame, then those issues, those blocks will come to the surface, whether you like it or not. Let your light shine and violet flame activation. You could uh, choose to work with the violet flame to release and clear all those blocks, those energy blocks, and harmonize your energy and let your light shine. See your full potential. See the full potential of your twin flame connection. Okay, what's next? Hand of cards. Take a chance, risk. Being strategic options, not showing hand, gambling. So perhaps you are afraid of taking a leap of faith in towards those connections, in towards those emotions. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment. What I'm feeling is the need for living in the moment is very important because here was the factor of Patience, you need patience to live in the moment, to let things flow, to let those blocks flow away as soon as you recognize them and acknowledge them. Okay, the, f the balance of female and male energies was off here. I realize this, I regret it. So this was your twin flame message from the other person. But as I said... You had a conflict within yourself and the other person also. And if you are healing, your counterpart is healing too. I would love to communicate with you. I know I have to be the one to reach out this time. I start to do it and then stop myself. It's right there. I don't want to hurt you again. So perhaps he or she did, um, did reach out and that didn't work out well. So... Perhaps it's necessary that the other person now does it and give it time, give it time. Ten of Swords, there is an ending of thinking of a, a difficult situation um, running around in your head. It will end everything regarding thoughts and Repetitive thoughts, negative thoughts will end. Temperance, restoration, there will be something that will be restored. And three of wands awaiting results and working together. Perhaps with your, with your twin flame or perhaps with spirit. Could be both. But first of all, with yourself. Working with yourself, with your inner child. Abandonment issues. See them, feel them, acknowledge them and know that you are in a healing process and it takes time and don't rush anything because you can't rush um, a healing process everything takes time and needs in divine order to be released and be restored again and uh, this is my advice for you but please bear in mind uh, energy is fluent it could be that you're dealing right now with this situation and you're going to this situation i'm not sure what these cards are i have to see for myself because i didn't turn them over and we're going this to do this now so if you choose the shiva lingam it has to, this is a stone with the female and masculine energy in balance and if you're wearing this um then it will help you to regain balance again in your life in your feelings okay balance feelings 
of fear, connection, shame, guilt balance regarding connection, shame, guilt, perhaps someone is ashamed and that could be with the other person, relief, energetic cords, mask and purity. So someone is seeing what they did to you or did to themselves and releasing everything that is not in alignment with themselves, in alignment with our higher self, with the highest good and breaking through all those patterns and, and creating an, a void that can be filled by the universe and also uh, cutting energetic cords with fear, uh, connection, uh, regarding connection, fear of moving into that connection uh, with yourself first foremost, but also um, with your twin. And also a bit of shame and guilt, those patterns that need to be healed also. There is a connection and th this is growing, the growing with yourself, crown chakra. You're getting many epiphanies from spirit, many insights, many downloads, spiritual downloads, which leads to openness, openness to the connection, openness to the connection with yourself. Okay, what's next? Let's see. There will be. You're going to let go of things that are not for your highest good. And this can come as a shock. But if you are doing this, everything will be restored. Your self-confidence will be restored. Because this um, particular energy that needs to be healed is blocking you from living in your moment. Is blocking you from... Uh, seeing your true self is blocking you from shining your light within, from within, is blocking your self-confidence. So please release all those patterns of shame and guilt and fear and see the purity that you are and um, take off your mask and shine, shine like a diamond and let your light see other people, shine it to the outer world and to yourself okay so we have grief regarding the relationship because these are the journey to love oracle grief regarding the relationship with you and your twin but there are signs signs that things are going to move at a, a better pace and so much smoother path because everything you want is behind those negative thoughts and those gr that grief and that lower vibrational energy and the rainbow is there to remind you that all will be well in order of time uh, if you choose to do your work your shadow work if you do choose to do your inner child work and come into self-confidence okay regarding your twin flame connection Masculine twin, releasing lower self, that's what I was tell, telling you about. So everything that is not in alignment with your highest good, all those negative thoughts and feelings need to be released in order to gain your, um, shine your light, in order to increase your frequency, higher conscious awareness. You need to let go of those lower self vibrational energies. And check for yourself, what is it that I need to know, that I need to learn from this particular situation I'm in. And what situation needs to be healed, needs to be recognized. And what emotions are tied to it. And what does this um, situation, what I'm in right now, teach me. What is the lesson behind it? So, and if you see that lesson, then you can release all that lower self and you increase your higher consciousness, awareness and clearing, clearing core wounds regarding your soulmate. Could be clearing core wounds from a karmic partner, could be clearing core wounds um, at, um, at an energetic level or at an astral level or just in, in 3D that you need to let go of some people around you that are not for your highest good. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Oh, four of them. 
So, healing heart chakra, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That's what I was talking about. Could be that you're in a karmic situation and you met your twin flame that you need to release that karmic, karmic um, relationship. Or it could be a karmic friend that that is toxic, that is jealous uh, of your situation. Please see for yourself what is in alignment with you and what is not. It has to do with soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement. Your soul contract is now due to, needs to be uh, stepped into. <laughs> you need to take, uh, you need to start your soul contract start working on your soul contract ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so in order to do so in order to do so to come to union you need to let go of all those negative feelings in yourself regarding your twin regarding yourself regarding other people regarding life issues passion insane chemistry like uh, like each other equally having fun you are the same your vibrational energetically twin flames are the same energy vibration but it could be that there are some core wounds that lower that vibration so it is important to check on those core wounds and to heal them so your energy vibration can can trend um, can descend transcend there's those negative energies and uh, rise and, and increase okay what's next okay so first of all I will feel like I need to move away from this at least for now sometimes distance is good for contemplation and reflection so perhaps there are you are in a state of no contact but that's okay so in that no contact zone, I hear a lot of people that are saying uh, it's so difficult. Of course it's difficult. But those no contact um, times teach you to look inward, to, cho to choose yourself first. I have many other op opportunities in my life. I'm not going to put my life on hold for you. I'm waiting for now, but I won't wait forever. So that is the message you're getting. Please and I don't have a feeling that it, it's it's over, but um, someone is just saying to you, this message is from spirit. Um, take your time and heal your core wounds, and then can we start over again? So there will be a uh, there will be a reunion, but first, oh, this is bizarre. We had a first or a ten of swords in the other uh, version, and now it's a ten of wands. So everything that is on a three D base, three D base level and energetic level will be um, healed soon, because the ten of wands tells me uh, uh, after the ten comes the first ace of wands. Then ace of wands is a new beginning in energy, but. You're now clearing all those wounds. You're now clearing everything that is on your head. You're you're lifting the world here, and you're but you're getting help from spirit. Spirit is helping you to lift that old uh, stuck energy from you. Okay, so self focus, eight of pentacles. This is what you're going to do right now. Keep fighting an ongoing battle, but you're fighting against that energy um but please bear in mind check for yourself nine of wands says also um it's an ongoing battle you are doing it for a very long time now but it's going to end soon and the high priestess inner knowledge secrets mysteries you will raise to that vibration of the higher priestess you will gain that inner knowledge you will gain that positive energy and the energy that is necessary to come into union with your twin flame Okay, so this was my pick a card reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you liked it, please like, share and subscribe. You're helping my channel grow. And uh, this would be very, um, I would be very thankful for it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Namaste.